there is a light bulb on the left hand side so let's go ahead and click this and find out what's this about okay hard-coded string okay so it's giving us a little warning message and what this warning message is saying is what you should do is instead of just writing a string in there like we just did you should treat this as a resource so let me first show you guys how to treat this as a resource and then I'm gonna tell you exactly why so make sure again you select your widget click the light bulb now click the little right arrow next to here and choose ex extract string resource it's kinda hard to say so right here what we're pretty much doing is I don't want to say that this is a variable because it's technically a resource but if you never um, worked with like XML before resources or you never developed for Android before you're probably not really familiar with this what we pretty much need to do is give a nickname to this string so I'm just gonna name it something like sign in title and then that's it click OK now as you can see what's gonna happen is instead of sign in title like we had it changes to this weird at string sign in title thing so let's hop over in the source code and look what's going on so of course it changed back to sign in as it should but if we look at the text now we still have a reference to the resource instead of the string itself so what exactly is happening well to understand what we need to do is we actually need to open a new file and this file is under app just like before res this actually stands for a resource now under values you're gonna have a file called strings.xml now alright let me adjust my seat because I'll uh, <laughs> explain this so the reason that we needed to make this a resource is because we're pretty much saying put all of the strings in one place in one file and then I'm just gonna reference them through XML so again whenever we reference a string it's gonna look in this file it's gonna look for that resource name and this one was sign in title and then it's gonna say okay that was actually equal to sign in so that's the value of this now if we did something like sign in with exclamation mark we can just switch over and that would change no problem so again what we're doing is we're pretty much putting a placeholder right here and it references something else now you were wondering okay well what was the problem with just writing sign in in my source code right here why did it give me a hard time well the reason that it wants all of your strings in one place it's because if you ever do something like you want to translate your app to Spanish well what you can do is you can actually just say okay you don't have to look around your entire app and say okay okay this is a string now this is a string now I have to go to a hundred other um activities and find all of those no you just look at one file it has all the strings for your entire app and you just translate it right there and there's a bunch of other useful things too but pretty much it makes your apps life a whole lot easier when all the strings are organized in one file so that's why we did that and also since this is a string as well it's probably a good idea to do it to this so again select your button click the light bulb right arrow extract string resource and for this I'll just call it something like um, I don't know like sign in button text and choose OK and of course if we can see on our button instead of that text we have a reference to it but of course whenever we're running our app they don't see this weird reference symbol and again anytime you see an at sign that means that this isn't a hard-coded string this is actually a reference to something else so again that's what's going on right there now one other thing I want to point out is this so we're gonna be referencing a bunch of stuff and we know why that's useful right now and actually go in your strings.xml file and close this out because typically we're not gonna have that open however what if you wanted to change the text to this well you can go back in the folder 
go all the way, find that file again, but that takes a lot of time. So instead, what you can do is in the source code, that XML, select, or excuse me, press down control on your keyboard, and you see whenever you do this, then you can actually hover over these references, now click. And whenever you click it, it opens up that file again. So pretty sweet, again, you, I don't know, maybe you wanna change that sign in to, I don't know, maybe you wanna get rid of that symbol at the end. Again, hold down control, and this actually works for any reference, but what we wanna do is click that, the file opens again, and that line of code is actually highlighted. So now I can close that and boom, check it out. So those are some really cool tips and now you guys know how to manually add activities. And you guys also know how to add strings as a reference. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Now one other thing I wanna mention before I let you guys go is this. So right now we're making something called a static layout. It's a layout that's not gonna change, Um, you know, we don't want to make a, like a, a sign-in form where the button's like floating around and the user has to click it to sign in. I mean, if you were making a game, that would be great. But uh, for right now, we always want everything to be in the same place. However, there are going to be some layouts, um, maybe like the stream, if you're reading like a bunch of posts, that actually change. So, of course, that feed goes up and down as you scroll with your thumb and also with games. You know, maybe there's like a bird flying around that you have to click, or maybe you have to like make tanks that are moving around. Well, whenever you need a layout that's interactive like games, then we're gonna need to do something special. And what we actually do is instead of using this, the designer in the XML, we're gonna be making our layout in Java. It's gonna be pretty sweet, but also pretty easy to understand so uh yeah i'm pumped up that's what i'm gonna be teaching you guys in the next tutorial how to make interactive layouts so for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will smell you later